So to draw the Lewis structure for HiO3, iodic acid, we need to realize that this is an acid, and we can tell that because there's a hydrogen in front. And whenever we have that hydrogen in front, that means when we draw our Lewis structure, we're going to put it on the outside of one of the oxygens. So we'll put our iodine here in the center, we'll put an oxygen, and then let's put the hydrogen on the outside like we just said. We have two more oxygens, so we'll put one up here and then one right here, and that gives us the skeleton structure. For HiO3, we have 26 valence electrons to work with. We'll start out, we'll put two electrons between atoms to form the chemical bonds, and then we'll go around the outside of the other atoms to complete their octets. So we've used 2, 4, 6, 8, we'll go 10 and 24. So we've got two more, and we'll just put them right here on the iodine. So we've used all 26 valence electrons, each of the atoms has eight, the hydrogen has two, so all the outer shells are full, so this is a valid Lewis structure for HiO3. But we need to check the formal charges to make sure that this is the most likely structure. So let's do that. So for the iodine there in the center, we know that iodine has seven valence electrons on the periodic table. Non-bonding, we have two valence electrons. And then bonding, we have two, four, six, which will divide by two. So we have a total of seven minus two, minus three, that gives us a plus two formal charge for the iodine. For the oxygen on the left, we have six valence electrons from the periodic table, minus non-bonding, we have two, four, six, and then bonding, we have two, which we'll divide by two, so six minus six minus two is minus one, and that minus one's gonna be for this oxygen, and then also, since they're symmetrical there, for that oxygen. For the oxygen that's bonded to the hydrogen, we have six again from the periodic table. Non-bonding, we have four. And then bonding, we have four over two. Six minus four minus two is zero. So the formal charge is zero here. And then the hydrogen also has a formal charge of zero. So we clearly don't have formal charges that are as close to zero as we would like. So we're gonna have to change something. What we can do is take these two electrons here and put them in the center here to form a double bond. When we do that, the formal charge on this oxygen here goes to zero, and then the uh, formal charge here on the iodine goes to just a plus one. We can do the same thing with the oxygen on top to give us formal charges of zero for everything. So by forming those two double bonds, we now have formal charges of zero on all of the atoms. That makes this a more likely Lewis structure. You also can see that iodine now has more than an octet. But because iodine is below period two, row two, on the periodic table, that's okay. It can have an expanded octet. So this really is the best Lewis structure for HiO3. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching, and a big shout out to Mallorca, España.